Hello, this is Mama Smile with her wooden spoon. And you're watching Family Fixings. And today we're going to be preparing, we're going to be fixing banana pudding the easiest way there is and it's delicious. You can find it in Mama Smo's Country Cooking Cookbook, page 127. And if you hadn't already ordered your cookbook or received it, you can get it on mamasmo.com. That's right. Are you ready to start fixing my favorite banana pudding? I am. Let's it's do it. So simple. You can even do it. I'm sure I can. I mean, <laughs> this looks like one of the more simpler recipes that I've ever seen laid out. It I is. mean, it's, you got your bananas, you got your whipped cream, you got your magic yellow stuff. That's and you pudding. Got, pudding. It's magical. Pudding is magical. Pudding. Nobody even knows what pudding is or where it even originated from, but if you put cookies and bananas That's and whipped cream in it, it's, it's amazing. And this it, is the kind of thing that when I rummage through your refrigerator, I stumble upon that bowl, it's always full of goodness. That bowl gets used a lot, doesn't it? And you take this to church. Yep, and, and it always comes back clean. Comes back empty. I remember <laughs> seeing Brother Bobby walking around, he didn't even get no food, it was just a whole <laughs> plate of banana pudding. So, I know this is good. I've seen it go through the masses. Yeah, and you and then keeping your refrigerator several days, you know, the kind you cook, it kind of turns watery. Like it's my mother used to cook hers, which is a lot harder. But I never do that. I like this better. It's we like the simple things in life. The simple things in life, like the uncooked I'm, banana pudding. That's right. All so right. are you ready to get started? I was born ready. <laughs> okay, this is one large um, package of. Vanilla instant pudding, mm -hmm. instant, instant, and three cups of cold milk, mm -hmm. and I beat it with the the mixer, mm -hmm. and after a few minutes it'll get thick like that. I like it. And that's when you want to add your can of condensed milk. Oh, that stuff is so good. You know, that's I eat what that. makes it sweet. I eat that right out of the can. I know, sometimes. I do too. So you want to add it in? Well, if you're doing the cooking. Okay. Let's see. Oh, That's what that. you have to do to learn. You look have that. to do it. Yeah. See that pour I've got there? It's yummy. Oh. And you have to take the knife to get all of it out. Do you want all of it out? Sure. We don't want to leave nothing behind. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that just it smells good. It is good. I'm sure it's fattening, but oh. it's good. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nothing that's... Good. That's good is not fattening. It's not fattening. Okay, now you'll stir that. Mix that together? The spoon. <clears throat> mm. not, yeah. not so rough. Don't be so, so you want to just kind of push it together, right? Yeah, you don't want to just beat the heck out of it. Mm. <laughs> Treat it like an old horse. I hate a horse. I put on my best Sunday shoes and kick me a horse. Okay, now your coo up. You'll add the coo up and you fold it in. You know what folding is. Yeah, I know how to fold like pages. Okay. Let's see if I can do this right. Okay. All that coo up in there. And you'll fold it in so it gets all mixed up good. Let's see if my folding game is down pat. Is that how you fold? Mm-hmm. Just kind of turn it over. You want to get the bottom of the bowl, the pudding in the bottom of the bowl turned over. And it's I'll got a it. golden color to it. It looks like angel wings. Mm -hmm. Like if I could imagine the color of heaven. That's kind of what this looks like. I wonder if the streets of heaven, if it, when they they're say gold. they're paved with gold, gold. if they uh -huh. you're not supposed to do that. If they really mean they're <laughs> paved with banana pudding. You know what I'm saying? That's my kind of heaven. The streets of banana pudding. Okay, that's probably good enough. Okay. What's next? Okay, you'll start out with some vanilla wafers in the bottom and you kind of break them into, don't crush them real big, but just kind of like this. You can, do a, you can do a handful. 
So you got muscles. We, we want to create a layer of on right. The we layer the kind of just bust them like know, that. But we don't want to crumble them too bad. Just kind of crack them. Yeah. You okay. Wanna, so you, you want, want them kind of chunky. Yeah. Chunky. All right. I, you know, I love vanilla wafers. I could take that whole bowl, yeah. and pour some cashew milk on top of it, and just call that breakfast. You know? Mm -hmm. Probably wouldn't be good for me. No, it's probably not on your list. But, you know, it still could be breakfast. Okay, now you'll take some of your bananas and put it on top of that. Okay. And I've already pre sliced them. So, like, Kind of the same, yeah, like a layer. layer. Yeah. Let me get it all covered. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to have some more bananas because I can make okay. bananas all day. Now we put this on top, or okay. that on top. So. Kind of the same thing, another layer. Another layer. Kind of whip that up a little bit. Get that fold together. Oh. Isn't, it, isn't it pretty? <laughs> so pretty. I think you can actually hear more of it. Like, sound like okay, angels wait, singing. that's enough. Spread that out. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. And then you'll, there you go, licking again. I can't help myself. <laughs> At least you're not licking the spoon, that's a no-no. Well, you know. <laughs> I always licked the spoon growing up. That was like my job in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. That's I wasn't really good at dishes. It's going to drop, so I guess I'm like that. See, now who's licking, <laughs> see? It was going to fall on the counter. Now I know where I get all that spoon <laughs> licking from. That's a hereditary... It tastes good. I know it tastes good. I wonder if there's any special. And what I use it do, if I'm taking it out to a potluck, I I'll use decorate it. I'll do the whole vanilla wafers around it. Right. Well, you ain't got to make this look pretty because you know I'm gonna eat the whole bowl. Well, I know, but you still want it to be pretty. Okay. Well, let me slide some like that. It don't take no. long. No, this is, I mean, remember how long it used to take just for me to make my breakfast. <laughs> this is a cinch. Throw some cookies around the edge. That's how I eat my cookie crisp, too. I build it nice and pretty like that. You probably that. need some more cracker, uh -uh. vanilla wafers in there. Some more wafers in here. And yeah. some more bananas. Bananas. Yeah, we're going to have to get some more bananas. That's not a problem. And I don't have my knife over here. I got it right here. Oh, okay. Tell you what, why don't you I'll do that while whip you... us up another banana. Or two or three. <laughs> that one's ready to rock and roll. You gotta have a lot of bananas in it. And then go ahead and hit it with another layer. Yep. It just comes out like This is so simple the kids could do it. I am trying to teach your kids how to cook. Yeah, I know. They, uh... Manica does good on Manica, omelets. She fits breakfast, breakfast for me, that's what I'm well, saying. I know, she does a good job. You need to let her do that more often. I ain't got no problem letting her cook for me. I let her cook for me every meal if she wanted to. If she, as long as she learned from you, she learned from the best. There's okay. some more bananas. You know, the good thing about your cookbook is that every time I open it up, it's like taking a little walk through my childhood. Yeah. Everything that I grew up eating. And uh, and what a lot of your friends grew up eating. Yeah. Too. When I run into some of my old friends, they still <laughs> talk about, man, you know, Mom, we used to wake up first thing in the morning and it'd be all the breakfast the crackers. stuff. Crackers. All the, the breakfast that you could eat, sausage and biscuit. And gravy and eggs and all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, she still, she still cooks like that. Not too much anymore. If I did, I wouldn't be able to fit in the back door. Yeah, but when the girls come over here, they tell oh, me yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, I have to do it then. You still cook like that for them. They look forward to that then. Yeah. 
Yep, they enjoy it. I think I can put the gravy away. I know. Gravy she, gets, biscuits. she gets that from me. I've always <laughs> thought that gravy was like almost better than clothes. You could wear that stuff to school every day. How's that? Like that? Yep. Put a couple more in there just for good measure. Yeah. Huh. Sprinkle some more bananas. I guess I did just about the right amount, didn't I? Yep. Now you top go. this whole thing off. You happy with that? Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's like pouring concrete. It's not like pouring concrete. In the way that it kind of <laughs> runs into the little spaces there. I'm comparing my pudding to concrete. <laughs> You did a little bit of that concrete, didn't you? Yeah, I did. That's why I'm good at this pudding. Mm -hmm. See how I just get that all level on top like that? Isn't that pretty? Mm. I'm going to finish that at time. Now you take some of them and crumble them up real fine and sprinkle it over the top. So you want me to crush these down? Right, really thorough. Real and fine. that's how you... Well, you don't have to do the whole thing. Just, well, I mean, you know, you, a few to make it look pretty on top. I'm going to crush the whole thing down. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a, a cookie crust. It's gonna be cookied up. You think that's good? Mm -hmm. I'll sprinkle the top. And you keep that in the refrigerator until you get ready to eat it. How's that? That's it. You did it. Bam, look at that. <laughs> you did it. And that's banana pudding. That's the world famous banana pudding. Finger licking banana pudding right there. Yep. Well, that's lovely. It's so simple. So simple, even I can make it. And feeds a lot of people. Love it. It's a good thing to take to family reunions and I'm gonna put some on my tour bus and feed my band. You are? Are you yeah. gonna take that on this the road? Cool. I'm taking this with me. Oh golly. All right. <laughs> I hope you got a big refrigerator. I do. <laughs> and that's how you make the my famous banana pudding. And you put it in the refrigerator for maybe a couple hours so it can really set. Let it set? Yeah. Is it gonna hurt us if we just dig into it right now? Because I want a bite. No, you can dig. You want a bite? I'm gonna mess up my pretty yeah. dish. Yeah, that dish is not gonna stay pretty for long. Look, you use that spoon. You want a bite? You take. I'm gonna use a pudding spoon because it's been pre-puddingized. Pre-puddingized. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I ain't get no bananas. I just got mm -hmm. pudding in the. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Now that's famous banana pudding right there. That's how you make banana pudding. Thank y'all for watching. Mama Smoes, Family Fixings. Mm -hmm.